Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and I have three new kits in my shop um, that Steph has put together for me. Um, quite a while ago someone asked me, could I could I do a kit of things I like to print? I'll just zoom in a little bit. Um, things I like to print um, on the reverse side of my journal pages. So I made a selection. Um, I've got one kit that has embroideries and em antique embroideries and embroidery patterns. So, of course, you could use these in your collaging as well. But there are also pages like if you have a dark pen that you can write on them. So I thought they're lovely to go on the reverse side of a journal page. Like, a you know, if you have a pattern digi kit, then you can put these on the reverse side. So I'll quickly, this is, um, I called them plain backgrounds, even though they're not plain. They're plain backgrounds just because they're lighter colours. Um, kit number one and then I've got kit number two and I love this sort of thing because you have this sense of texture but you can write on there so this one has I can't think I think 24 I don't want to say the wrong thing it's written in the listing anyway if I make a boo-boo um, and oh and not, not all embroidery some also sketchy things as well that I really love I love those in the back on on the reverse side of pages as well. This one is um, a frame that way, but it would be like that sort of thing, which I think is gorgeous. Um, some of them you, you are sideways, so they'll go. I do that sometimes, just print them like that. But also, if you were doing a document journal, they would be lovely printed on the other side of the document journal. Um, then some embroidery patterns, like designs for you know waistcoats and things. I love those because you get a nice border down on your page, but you can write. And then these are my own personal ones. My um, printer has decided to print borderless, so that's why you're not seeing a border on it. But they are A4, um, as I always do. And, um, yeah, just my normal sort of thing. Yeah. Just beautiful patterns. I just like, these are sort of things I like to put on the reverse side when I've got a, a pattern digital kit. I'll mix it up between coffee, uh, um, you know, scanned tea dyed paper, pat, you know, with a pattern on it or not. And then, um, so that's the first kit. All right, I'll mix it up with that. This sort of thing, um, maybe some embroideries that have a lot of white on them. Um, and then my antique documents because they have wonderful natural aging lines and marks on them. A little bit of script. So this is kit two. Um, this is just a, a um, piece, 1830, that one. It's just one, that's all the pieces. And then um, it was ripped and Steffi's fixed them up for me so that, you know, where they've got curling edges, this was just the reverse side of a, a page in a super old book I have. Um, this is in my really old book. This one is, oh, this one's 1740, that one. And I just love the reverse side with all that texture on it and this lovely piece of paper here. So these are all things that I like to print on the reverse side. But you can also use these because the most of them are vertical. You can use them in your document journals. If you're gonna be making a document journal, um, like this one here, if you're gonna be making a document journal um, with digitals, then these are great for that. And I just wanted to show you here, um, I made this with it in, I think, because I've pre-recorded all my videos, um, this might come out on Thursday. That one, I can't remember. So, um, yeah. And then, so that's vertical, but you can have it either way. It doesn't matter. So different ones. So they're ledger papers. Just beautiful. Um, these were all, this one was a rag paper. That's part of a ledger. This beautiful old... I think they were, I don't know, it was in scribbled in a book, that one. Uh, oh, and I love this. Love that. That's just stuck on this um, page. And you, in this scan, you can see the texture of the beautiful old paper, 1818, that one. And look, the, you know, as I said, they, they can be used in your vertical document journals. So fold like that. And then this was beautiful inside of a book. Just love that. And another piece of a manifesto. Um, another document. Just gorgeous. And Steph's fixed them all for me. It took him ages. So that they, you know, they wouldn't have any white bits in them. 
uh, and this one was had a slightly pink color which I like and I love all of that um, and then so all of these are in my possession or I put them in my hoardy journals I think most of these I have still have love that one how it's sort of pinky on that side and not on that side and the watermarks on that one is gorgeous this one this document was in the 1700s I can't see a date there but I know because I've had multiple pieces of that one and then the last kit I've done a, a letters kit number six because I just have so many beautiful um this one's 1836 just so many beautiful um scripty bits to share that um you know and I love using these myself so um it's nice for me even to have them in a kit because otherwise I've got them all over the place that one I, I saw the date and then I've lost it no, I didn't see a date. Or did, yes, 1840, that one. Um, a lot of these, these particular, 1818, that one. A lot of these particular documents went into the hoardy journal with the little kits that I sent out. But I just love them. So just a whole variety of lovely documents, scan documents. It's a few pages of that one. Um... There's a few of those. Love that one. That one's in this journal here. I shouldn't show you, but here it is because we haven't finished it. You won't have seen the little videos. Um, that one's 1838, 1842. Um, that one's 1782. It's in Italian. Mm -hmm. March, 14th of March, 1782. Um, 1847, 1829, oh, I just love them. Look at that writing, I just love that. 1735, I think. And you can see the seal down there. And then I love the reverse side. And then we had a few little um, receipty sort of things. So Steph did two of those to a page, just a few of those. In this one so two door pages there's actually 24 items i think um it says it in it says that how many pages are but know that two pages are have um double and the some of the pages were too big for us to scan the whole thing so that's why they might be chopped off a little bit 1861 that one so those are the three kits um i just wanted to show you here this is exam this is this kit here and i've printed I've a, or that, not that one, that's, um, I didn't put that in it, but you can see how I print these things on the back. Didn't put that one in yet. That one. Oh, that's one, I've got, I think I might have already have that one in a kit, some, in one of my other letter kits. So just a variety of mixed things that, how I print them on the back. Just to give you an idea. Um, I don't know what else I've got here. A whole mix. Not all of them are in the kit, but just to give you an idea. Yeah. So I hope you like those. Um, I'm looking, I'll be looking forward to coming back by the time you see this video. Um, and thank you so much for everything. And I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful time. These are very useful things to have, I think. And it's going to be good for me to have them in a kit because I'll be using them all the time. Because otherwise I go have to go through my files all the time and search for them. So um, it's going to be good having them all there ready to go. Really, really nice. And then the embroidery ones. So I hope you like those. The links will be down in the description box. Um, and have a great time. And I will see you again soon. Bye.